As an instructor, you understand the importance of creating a connection with your students at the start of a semester. The first step in that connection is learning your students' names so you can address them confidently in class. To help with this, CourseIntros.com lets you collect and organize short introduction videos from your students where they say their name and an interesting fact about themselves. Here's the dashboard for an example course. Going down to the roster, we can see all of our student introductions, and if we click on any of them, it'll bring up their video. Hi, my name is Ki Hup Young, and I never learned how to ride a bike. And of course, you can replay those videos as many times as you need to make that connection between their face and their names, as well as practice any unfamiliar pronunciations. If you want to collect any additional information from your students, you can set up custom questions they'll be prompted to answer when submitting their introduction. To help with memorization, you can switch over to flashcard mode and quiz yourself on each of your students' names. To show the process for collecting introductions, let's start by creating a new course. I'll fill in some details for an example course. Every course is gonna have a custom URL. This is where students are gonna go to submit their introductions. You wanna indicate what name you want your students to address you by, and then a welcome message, which is auto-generated and you can customize as you see fit. With those details filled in, let's create the course. And the first thing you're gonna see is instructions on how to collect the introductions from your students. Uh, to do this, you wanna prompt them to visit the URL that you created in the previous step. And just to see things from the student's perspective, let's follow that URL. On this page, your student will see some instructions telling them that they're gonna answer a few questions and then they're gonna submit their video and they're assured that their video and information is gonna be kept private. Uh, the custom message you set when you created the course in the previous step, that'll appear on this uh, instruction page. And then following that is the details that the student's gonna fill out. And once again, let's complete this with some example data. With everything filled out, I'll click next. And on the following page is where your student's gonna submit their video. They see some instructions up top telling them to keep it short at 10 seconds or less, and they're prompted to say their name and a fun or interesting fact about themselves. To complete this example, I will upload a sample video. And with that, that completes the process from the student's perspective. So switching back to our course and the instructor perspective, we can now go to introductions and we could see that introduction that was just submitted, and we can go ahead and add that to our roster. And that's the basic flow of working with course intros. Before we wrap things up, I just wanna highlight some of the other features that might be useful. There is a tagging feature where you could organize your students by custom tags you create, maybe based on sections. This could be really useful if you have a lot of students in your course. The student list feature allows you to upload a CSV list of your students' email addresses and names, so you can keep track of which students have or have not submitted their introductions. Under collaborators, you can invite other instructors to have access to your introductions for this course. Again, this is something that might be useful in a large course if you're teaching it as part of a team. There's co-instructors or teaching assistants and you want them all to have access to it, you can invite them as collaborators. Under settings, as I mentioned previously, you can add custom questions here, uh, so you can collect any additional data you need from your students. And then finally, the archive feature is something you can use at the end of the semester. This will generate a zip folder with all of your students' videos, as well as the data they submitted as part of their intros. And you could download that and have it as part of your permanent records. And that's something that could be really useful. Let's say you have a student reach out years down the road and you need a refresher on who they are, what course they took with you, you'll have that data available. And with that, I hope you'll check out courseintros.com. It's a great way to get to know your students at the beginning of a semester and create meaningful connections in the long run.